Vanessa. I know, baby, I know. Well, good morning, folks. Lester here. Uh, welcome to a cold and rainy day here at the end of March. Can you imagine? Uh, when I say cold, it's not that cold. It's, it's weather that allows for a hoodie, which is great. My favorite type of weather gear. Today, we're going to be doing some alpaca shearing. Now, when I say we, I can't take credit for what's about to happen. Uh, we actually have hired out this year we have hired out hey danny okay hello there imogene no we have hired out this year to a crew who's going to come in a lady who knows what she's doing when it comes to alpaca shearing and all i have to do well it might be kind of the hard part but i have to catch them and so my plan this morning is to take the donkeys and all of the goats up to the other pasture close the alpacas in to this pasture right over here Jolene, do you mind? It's not about Jolene today. It's about alpaca shearing, and I gotta do what I have to do. And Jolene's not gonna allow me to do it without making a ruckus. Anywho, you guys join me. Uh, help me get these alpacas uh, cornered and caught. Move them to the stalls. I can tell you right now, this is gonna be an adventure. This is going to be a real adventure, and you're gonna wanna be a part of it. All right, so we've gotten the pigs, well, two of the pigs. All of the goats are up front. Now we're gonna attempt to put these two, are they going in? We're gonna attempt to get the alpacas to go inside the little's barn. Come on, babies, come on. The smaller barn, if they would. Come on, here we go. Annie, uh, move out of the way. We wanna try to get Annie. Baby, no, we're not running them right now. We're trying to get them to walk in here. <laughs> so I've tried to lure the alpacas into the little barn using grains. And my friends, this time of year, they want nothing to do with grains at all. There's too much green grass and their bellies are full. I'm going to try to lure them using some green hay. Uh, this is one of their little favorites. And so I'm hoping that by using some alfalfa, I can get them to follow me inside the little barn. Because otherwise, we're going to have to resort to, uh, well, I'm just going to say chasing them down. Chasing them down. And you know what? It's hard when you have to chase down your alpacas. <laughs> I know what y'all are saying. Well, Lester, so-and-so farms can touch their alpacas. So-and-so farms can put hands on their alpacas. And that's great. That is really great for those farms. But uh, you have to understand that... Our alpacas are rest. Ouch! Stop that! That's not funny. Our alpacas, at least that one right there, was raised with deer, y'all. She was raised with deer. Ouch! Stop doing that to me. They were raised with deer. And so they, ouch, they don't. Ouch! Would you please stop it? And so when you're raised with deer, come on guys. When you're, stop, not you, I don't want you in here. I don't want you. When you're raised with deer, it's a little bit easier to not, so, would you get away? I'm trying to work with the alpacas here. I'm trying to work with the alpacas. So what I have to do, is make my way that chain right there. I gotta get these two babies in here. Ernie's fine, it's, and Ernie's a lot more gentle. Uh, that's important to get Indy in. Annie will always be the challenge because she was, like I said, she was the one who was raised on a deer. Please stop messing with me. Nope. How can you work? How can anyone work in these conditions? How can anyone work in these conditions? Seriously. Part. I'm over here pretending to be do using the water just so I can get Annie in there. She won't go all the way in, and if I run up, she's gonna come right out. 
she is so darn smart. Now I could enclose Ernie and Indy easy enough, and I may have to do that and then work on Annie later. But uh, this is not going to be easy, my friends. Annie is so darn smart, and she's trying to teach Indy how to be smart. So I have this very lightweight aluminum panel. This is 10 foot long. So if a person could carry this along, uh, instead of having your normal hand span to try to guide an animal in, this over here is gonna give you almost double that. And so a lot of folks will use a panel when they're trying to herd or guide an animal someplace. And we're about to do that right now. So, so what I want, like, what I would like to do is create me sort of a barrier, a fence, you might say from this doorway here across to where I'm standing. And then I could run the alpaca, circle them around behind the little's barn. As they come around, they hit this barrier, they have nowhere to go. I can kind of like corner them here and force them inside the barn there. Problem with that is what kind of fencing do you erect because that's gonna be a good 30, 40 foot. So what I found was this. Now don't judge, this is an 80 foot cord. I can roll back up after I use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this along here, kind of erect it through here and run them through this small area. All right, let's see how this over here works. Excuse me. Okay, it may not be ideal, but I think it'll work. I think it'll work. And so now I'm going to circle the alpacas around. We can try Ernie. Y'all wanna try Ernie first, let him be our guinea pig? It ain't gonna matter. I can do them all at the same time or it's not gonna work. If they don't all go at the same time, it's not going to work. So what I'll do is I'll circle around the backside of the barn, run all three alpacas into the barn, then I'll close the door behind them. From there, we will catch them and pull them to the stalls. Try something a little bit different now. I just stuck my panel in the ground. I'll leave it there. I'm gonna run them around again. This time, maybe without having the panel, I'll be able to be a little bit more maneuverable. So let's try this here. I know what you are saying. Lester, you need some kind of help out there. Well, I think help's on the way now. I see Jamie coming. Help might be on the way. All right, I will take this here with me. All right, let's see what happens over here. All right, Jamie, let's walk up on them. Well, they can do a whole lot of exploring. Annie's smart. Annie is smart, she knows. Baby, you're going the wrong way. Trixie, help us. Trixie, help us. Yep. Yeah. All right, Jamie, this is our chance to get them up in this corner. I can't hold them here. Help, Jamie. 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 
Jamie. Jamie, I can into the barn. Into the barn. Got okay. All right, we gotta have our panels ready. I know. That was good. They're smart. I know, it's okay. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, how about you go in that corner right there? <laughs> it's okay, go take them that way, take them that way. That's good, take them that way, Jamie. Take them that way, that's perfect. Take them all the way in there. Keep going, Jamie, go up, go up on them fast. Go up on them fast. Go up fast, Jamie. Okay, close that. That was a great plan, babe. Your idea was brilliant. There. All right, so this is our setup for now. What I will do once it gets closer to game time, I will go inside and move all the babies forward. Then I'll close this gray gate over here. I'll close that and I'll put all three of our babies here in this eight by eight section. Don't ask me why I am following the lady up the driveway. Okay, fine, I went to the taqueria. I went to the taqueria, okay? And uh, yeah, and so she's coming in now, I'm behind her. That right there must be the table that they use for the alpacas. Go ahead! So hold on, so first of all, this is Tina, everybody, Hi, Miss everybody. Tina. And uh, she's telling me her setup. My plan is not going to work. Once again, my plan is not going to work. And so, and so I need to know your plan. Okay, so my plan, um, table, I think it will be wide enough to fit right here. Okay. So it rolls. It's so awesome. It's Australian made. It's uh -huh. made it down to me. And it's a shearing table where they can flip, flip the animals over and stuff. Yeah. Oh. And the, the whole table itself rotates 90 degrees. Okay. Uh, both ways. Yeah. All right, so Tina has also brought, do we call you Tina or Miss O'Tina? Tina. Tina has also brought some, uh, some educational tools. She's going to educate us on some things during this visit, things that we had no idea about. And these babies are just so intrigued, they have no idea <laughs> what's about to happen. Babies, Oh. <laughs> That noise that you hear is just nervousness. It's the, that's their nerves. It's okay, babies. We're fine. All right, so as I can help work, we're gonna put my camera on a tripod right over through here somewhere so you guys can kind of get the whole vantage point. This is the best place from here, you think? To get it all, so. all the good stuff? As long as you can get that table right there? Yes, I got the table, okay. Annie, baby, it's okay. Okay. Very lovely. And now you got one over here, right? I'm going to get her started in here. Just tell me what to do. I'm just going to let her look at it for a minute. Okay. Yeah, because this is probably the first time she's ever had something like this. They probably. Everything. Yes. It's okay, Annie Banani. You guys sit down and That's fine. This is her game. This is this is her defense mechanism. I know, baby, I know. I'm just gonna annoy her until she stands up. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Sometimes throwing them throwing them off balance can help with that as well. It's okay. I don't think her baby's gonna recognize her when it's all <laughs> over and done with. Yeah, I've had a, like, mom's baby, 
baby will go to the pile of hair. Oh no. Really? Go, How funny. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do the flipping part of this. Okay, what are you going to do? Okay, you're going to... Uh, I'll slide this. She's usually supposed to be the other way. Um, so, I'll slide this down. Wow, wait. You're good. You have you a taken a beat down, though. How are you? Oh, I'd way worse. Trust me. <laughs> want me to get her up again? Hold on, Ellie. Don't scare her. She, we're doing her teeth. Come look if you want to look. Don't scare her. Okay. Is it going to throw stuff in my eyes? Go ahead and close your eyes. Okay. Maybe look down. Can I look? Go over there and keep holding. That's how you do it. That's actually really cool. That's a cool little contraption. So she's gonna jump around and thrash a little bit, probably. Yeah. Because, well, even in the midst of her freaking out, she didn't even want to get. She didn't want to get near my dad. She didn't want to get near a person. She looks about half the size of it. She was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ellie, come close and let the camera smell this. Oh goodness. No, you don't need to be. Maybe you're not gonna be close to smell that. <laughs> but look at here. This yes. is a. This is a dirty job that someone has to do. You could squeeze out drops from this halter. <laughs> Megan, you got a gag reflex over there. Can we? Can we just give them the hair removal stuff that sisters do to each other to be mean? She's bathing, Ellie. She's yeah. bathing. All right, so that's the new Annie with her summer look. Her summer haircut there's a couple of little things hanging on her that will blow off but uh she is filthy y'all and i know she'll clean herself up but she does she looks about half the size of the little girl that started off an hour ago i'll tell you what she was tough she was tough that was really tough all right coming up next Ernie. Or will it be Andy? Only Tina can tell. Well, folks, as you can probably figure, the video of all three alpacas being groomed can be quite lengthy. And I know you don't have time for that all in one sitting. So I hope you'll join us tomorrow for, for part two. And uh, how can you not want to watch sweet little Indy getting herself... Her first haircut, a little girl's first haircut. There's something special about that, and we hope to see you guys tomorrow on that video. All right, my friends, it's always funner and gooder, you know. Thank you. I come to tell you a story about a man, humble is his way, he lends you a helping hand, who took the time to teach kids, that was his profession, plus drove the school bus when they completed all their lessons. Single father with two, plus a coach could be a lot to juggle, but not when you're working with that I'm a survivor muscle. He took pride in the few animals he raised, hobby forming by night seems to balance out his days, and he always knew that his best days were yet to come, but didn't know first he had to make it through a storm. Everybody's evacuating, leaving in a hurry. There's trouble on the way, they name it Hurricane Harvey. When you have little resources, not a whole lot of money, it's hard to lock away and secure all of your belongings. So this man and his two boys packed and evacuated, waited for the storm to pass, and it was hard to have patience. Cause there were all sorts of rumors that spoke on how you needed a boat for the roads that we drove on. And animals are floating by, helpless and afraid. The storm was cataclysmic, left the town in a rage. The roads finally opened, and it was time to go see the damage that was done. He was kind of scared to proceed, but started down his driveway, water just above both feet. Pull out his phone to capture, moments later, guess what he seen? It was his little black pig named Patty, dashing his way like a lost child who found daddy. Emotions running high, he didn't know what to do, except cry tears of joy, and he ran toward her too. The little goat bag was like the engine that could Because she never gave up And the horses, they were good See, the house was a wreck But all that could be fixed 
it really hurt to see some got caught up in the fence, lost their life. In that moment, he was taken out of his element. And then God came and gave him gifts that was heaven sent. Admired how he tended to the animals and land because that was the initial plan when he made man. And so he was placed on a whole new surface. The same old land, but a whole new purpose. And three months later, he was blessed with a wife. Row front and center, watching him rebuild his whole life. So remember this story, and you think you have nothing. I'm a survivor sanctuary. We're all survivors of something.